patriotism at its best. Oh, the valley's full of heroes. From the battlefield. You know, you see uh, friends die, you see people you don't know die. To a fight with the feds. They just want to give you medications in, in a hospital. But they don't want to help you. When I got out, it, was, it wasn't easy to get a job. And the reason we are the greatest country in the world is because of the veterans. Tonight, hear the veteran's voice. They may be far from the battlefield, but their battles are far from over. War heroes who say sometimes they feel like second-class citizens forced to fight for things like health care and respect. Uh, tonight, our Melissa Correa and photojournalist Mario Sandoval capture the veteran's voice. We're joining you here at the Veterans War Memorial in McAllen. It's tucked within the turf of the convention center. This site with its granite slabs and stamped stones means so much to so many. We've spent some time here. It's quiet, it's peaceful. This is a place that can soothe your soul. The wind winds through these symbols of valor and courage. We've got to remember our veterans. They've served our country, they've shaped our future, Future, veterans have given us the gift of freedom. We're talking about thousands of men and women from our very own communities. Too many to count, but enough for each one of us to know someone who served. Next Monday on Veterans Day, people will muster here to honor Valley Vets. Channel 5 News wants to do its part. Tonight, we begin our month-long series of special reports. We are going to uncover, expose, and highlight the plight of Valley Vets. You see, to understand their struggles, you have to first understand who they are and just how deeply rooted the red, white, and blue is right here in the valley. The spirit of a Rio Grande City warrior survives with some simple steps. His widowed wife routinely makes her rounds. Que me gusta mucho caminar aquí, hay mucha paz. Around a memorial. Fue maravilloso dedicated to those who died. Aquí hago mis oraciones por todos los que están muertos, por los que están en la guerra. And those who live to tell a war story or two. You know, you could hear the bullets whiz by you, you could hear the mortars, but you had to worry about, you know, your Marine that make sure he's good to go and make sure he's coming back home. Rene Abendano recently returned from war. God bless you all. Though he continues to lead troops. Commander of the Donna VFW Post 10802. Within the cinder block walls, history, legacies are left. My uncle's from the Marine Corps, I'm from the Marine Corps, I have a cousin who served in the Marine Corps. Generations of fighting families can be found throughout the valley, from the Atkinsons of San Benito to the Ponces of Edinburgh. Brothers in arms who went through hell and back, on land, sea, and in the air. Generations of service that stretch from one corner of the valley to another. I think we're more patriotic. I really do. For some, patriotism comes with a price. A war is very difficult. Robert Diaz saved seven men in Vietnam. He refuses to call himself a hero. Oh, well, I'm not a hero, that's for sure. Yes, you are. No, We've no, no. got a binder to prove it. <laughs> no, um, national defense. Vietnam service, and this is a... Uh, An unassuming black leather binder protects war medals earned in some of the most difficult ways. Because you don't win a medal, you earn them. It's not a race, so a lot of people don't understand that. Diaz, a veteran of the Air Force... Fly, fight, and win. Plans to pass the badges of bravery. My grandson. How Why are you getting choked up? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Vietnam affected me that bad. You know, it's, uh, I get very emotional when I talk about Vietnam. Okay, see, I don't like this. Diaz is just like the latest generation of veterans. I'm still affected by certain sights, certain smells, and certain scenarios. They struggle with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Another stigma on PTSD, oh, people with PTSD are crazy. It's like, no, it's not like that. It's Getting that help through the VA, the Department of Veteran Affairs, is a challenge. Sometimes people have to wait four or five hours to get seen uh, by a doctor. And, and uh, people that are hurting, people that are in pain, people in wheelchairs have to sit there and wait. Well, you feel like you're a second-class citizen. 
The Valley has many things for veterans. A VA hospital isn't one of them. Right now, two clinics, one in McAllen, the other in Harlingen, are overwhelmed. The system here is all screwed up. Veterans do, however, take comfort in the memorials and monuments scattered throughout our four counties, from a war memorial in Brownsville to a celebration of Freddy Gonzalez on an Edinburgh street corner. Pillars of strength from Iwo Jima and roads renamed in remembrance. Tribute bike from my brother, POC Pedro Martinez. He was killed in Vietnam in Operation Hasty, mm -hmm. July 21st. 1966. How old was he? 19. Younger brother Juan Martinez took us on a five-mile drive south of Mercedes to Relampago. I decided I needed to do something for him so his memory wouldn't, you know, just fade away. Martinez petitioned to rename Baseline Road in honor of his brother. So anybody that sees PFC, they know he's a veteran. PFC Martinez was the only resident of Relampago to be killed in Vietnam. It's hard to forget those who died in battle at the State Veterans Cemetery in Mission. The names of hundreds of troops are etched in ivory. Some of them died as teens. Very hard to accept because they'll never know their kids, uh, grandkids. Going above duty for our country. The most beautiful flag there is. For those killed in action. It's a privilege and an honor to serve this country. Heroes, even if they won't admit it. There's a lot of heroes out there, ma'am. I'm just a you know, regular real Grandy Valleyite uh, who loves my country. Guardians of our freedom, grateful for a few simple words. Thank you for your service and God bless you. The last honor we can give. The valley's full of heroes. Veterans from the valley. I want what's best for veterans. Every veteran represents the military. Whose voices we now hear. You know, one more thing we did hear from veterans as we were talking with them for this special report is that they would be over the moon if even for just one day, the valley was painted red, white, and blue. How awesome would it be if we were able to step up and give them that honor? So again, next Monday is Veterans Day and Channel 5 News is putting a call out to schools, community groups, businesses, and churches. Find a way to honor our valley vets. It could be flying the flag or maybe creating a sign and posting it on your street corner. If we could give them this for just one day next Monday, how awesome would that be? It's a way to give back, say thank you, and remind them that we are honored for the service that they've given us. Guys.